Hello, race fans. Welcome back to another episode of Mo Dirt with the Emo. Emo here, your favorite announcer. Give you a rundown on the other night, June 8th, at El Paso County Fairgrounds at the El Paso County Raceway. It was a great, another great night of racing, let me tell you. It was exciting. We had weather going on. I mean, it started out sunny and shiny, and then it was just black everywhere. And Well, man, I thought we were in for it for sure, but we skirted around. Mother Nature left us alone. I mean, I heard there's a tornado right over the hill. And we had a little bit of rain right after our qualifying heats. And just before our fan appreciation. We had fan appreciation on last Saturday night. So all the fans love that. They love to go down and, and get to meet their favorite drivers. It's like trick or treat. They have candy and they have giveaways. And they'll sign autographs. It's just a great time out there at El Paso when we have fan appreciation night. And so then we had our qualifying heats, like I say, before the fan appreciation and well, the biggest thing that happened in the heats was young Brian Lessig Jr. hit a ute tire and uh, did a barrel roll about I, I counted about four barrel rolls and I'll tell you that young man he earned he earned his pilot's license on that one and you know it, it was uh it was terrible looking but he was okay and he got out climbed out of the car waved to the crowd and um, I know they're gonna do a lot of work to get that car back out so then we uh, had our fan appreciation and we had our main events and our main events just were awesome awesome race and we started out with our now 600s and the now 600s was won by Shyla Ernst. Young Shyla Ernst just proven to be a heck of a racer. She's always up front and she wins the now 600s and Justin Stoles was second and Hunter Finney stood on the pedestal with those two. So those were your top three. Then we had the restricted 600s and Shyla Ernst, she doubled up. She doubled up. We had a couple of double ups on Saturday night. Shyla Ernst doubled up, won the restricted 600s. So it was Shyla, Skylar Keeney and Memory. Marie Ashcraft. Those are your top three. And then we had our Rocky Mountain Lightning Sprints. They put on a great show and your winner far and away was BJ Sauer. BJ Sauer, he put it on him and he took him to the woodshed. TJ Trengrove followed him around, tried to catch him, but there was just no way. And then Steve Becker took third. That was your podium finish on the Rocky Mountain Lightning Sprints. And then we had our stock cars. And let me tell you, the IMCA stock cars, too tough to tame. They just came at it. They were banging and banging, elbows and hip, big hip checks thrown and you know and then we had our leaders were Phil Reed and Laney Bellum and, and Cameron O'Lear. Those top three were battling it out for the lead. The 0-5 of Randy Ecker, he was up there for a little bit but he fell back into the field and for the last few laps it was O'Lear, Reed and Reed had the lead. But Cameron O'Lear, man, I mean it looked like the track was locked down like they were all going to be on that low side but Cameron O'Lear he started using that upper groove and up in the middle of the track and he was getting a heck of a bite off of number four. He was lifting that left front up like an angry dog in a fire hydrant. I tell you, lifting her up, and he wound up winning that race on the last lap, coming out of four. So that was Cameron O'Lear, your winner of the stock car main event. Second place was Mr. Phil Reed, and third place, the ladybug, Laney Bellum, snuck up there in the third place. And so then we had our sport mod race, and oh, that was another good race. You know how I feel about the sport mods. And the winner of that race, the guy that took the checkered flag was Frankie Frank Ogden. He hit that, that car his. He's led a lot of laps this and he's just had some bad luck. Then Dave Stock was second Chris O'Connor was third but then I learned later on that in the tech line they they uh, docked young Frankie two spots for something with his ride height or something. I'm not a technician. I'm just a super fan like you and I'm just an announcer so I don't know what happened but officially Dave Stock was the winner of that race. I know Dave probably doesn't like to win that way but he took the trophy. Chris O'Connor was second and then Frankie Ogden was third. So you know Frankie he, he, he's going to be a winner. No doubt he's going to be a winner. I'm telling you right now. Watch that young man. And then we had our hobby stocks. And our hobby stocks was win, won by Mr. Jacob Worthington. Jacob Worthington got her done in that number 54 car. He's awful fast. And then Litton Stoot from Nebraska took second and third place Austin Sykes. And then we had our Warriors. And the Warriors, Jacob Worthington doubled up. I told you there was a couple people that doubled up. And Jacob Worthington was one of them. Jacob Worthington won the Warriors. Warriors. And then Brianna Worthington was in second. J.D. Renfro was in third. And that was inches, man. Brianna, oh, we were all, oh, man, it's in their nose and nose, nose and nose. I'm like, oh, is J.D. going to get her? She's going to get him? And then Brianna took second just by a nose of a car. So that's what happened out there in the compacts. Leanne O'Lear. Leanne O'Lear took the trophy home in the compacts on Saturday night. So that's a pretty good wrap up of what happened out in El Paso. It was, a, it was pretty rowdy. I'll tell you, the heat races were really 
really rowdy. And uh, them guys put on a heck of a show. If you're not coming out, you're missing out. That's all I can say. Good times with good people. And that's what happened out at El Paso. And I'll see you in the victory circle. Oh,